sector by sector basis, your financials up about six tenths of a percent here. But a lot of people looking ahead to later this week with the big banks reporting then. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Emily McCormick, who is here with a preview. Emily. Well, Kiko, as you mentioned, a lot for investors to be watching this week between earnings and economic data. Third quarter earnings season really set to ramp up in the coming days with the big banks. And Akiko, I know you were just pointing out the performance of the financial sector today. But if we look out over the course of 2021 to date, financials have been the second best performer in the S&P 500, uh, beat only by the energy sector. So really seeing uh, a lot of anticipation here heading into this earnings season. But companies including JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and Morgan Stanley each set to report results between Wednesday and Friday. And there are really three main themes here to watch with these companies. Now, the first is going to be on net interest margin or banks' profitability based on their core lending businesses. And this is expected to have picked up in the third quarter as interest rates and treasury yields moved higher. And any commentary from the banks about what they expect going forward in terms of interest rates will also be closely watched. Now, the second is going to be on banks' loan loss reserves. Recall that the major banks had set aside tens of billions of dollars in aggregate to protect against potential defaults and non-payments on loans over the course of the pandemic. Many banks have already started to release many of these reserves so far this year. So we likely won't see as much of a boost to profits from this as in earlier quarters, but they did still did likely provide some help to earnings for the third quarter. And then the third thing to watch here for the banks will be on any commentary about what lending activity looks like, both on the corporate and consumer side, as the economic recovery continues to progress. So those are the big themes here for the big banks. Then turning over to the economic data front, of course, a pretty packed schedule there as well. Uh, one of the marquee results is going to be the consumer price index coming out on Wednesday from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Of course, inflationary pressures have been one key theme that market participants have been watching. As we've seen this rise in energy prices, that's likely to really lift that broadest measure of CPI. Uh, but again, still likely to see, even excluding those food and energy prices, CPI rising at a 4% annual pace in September. And then finally, do you want to highlight that we will be getting the September retail sales report out at the end of this week as well. That's coming out from the Commerce Department. It's an economic data point that we're always closely watching here at Yahoo Finance. Uh, of course, the big thing that investors are going to be looking for in that report is how robustly consumer spending really held up uh, as we had, of course, the Delta variant continuing to spread across the economy. Economy. Uh, but economists there looking for a 0.2% monthly decline in sales after that unexpected August increase, which came even as we did see that Delta variant taking its toll across the U.S. So, Akiko, certainly no shortage of data on the earnings and economic data side for investors to be watching this week.